A city is linked by its transportation network. A cell is like a city and requires a network for transportation too. As mentioned in the last video, a function of microtubules is for intracellular transport. This is because microtubules are forming these tracks for transportation. Let's take a closer look at the structure of microtubules. Microtubules are made up of alpha-beta-tubulin heterodimers that are joined end-to-end -end in a linear protofilament. They are polarized structures with the beta-tubulin monomer pointing towards the plus end and the alpha-tubulin monomer exposed at the minus end. A single microtubule is comprised of 13 protofilaments arranged as a hollow cylinder. In the same way that tracks can be lengthened or shortened, the length of microtubules can also become longer through assembly or shorter through disassembly. This ability is known as dynamic instability and is important for microtubules to perform its functions. The first function we will look at is intracellular transport. Just as the train runs on tracks, there are also motor proteins that run on microtubules for transportation. The motor proteins kinesin and dynein utilize the microtubule network to transport vesicles from one part of the cell to another. Vesicles can contain proteins such as neurotransmitters or digestive enzymes. Kinesin moves towards the plus end and dynein moves towards the minus end of microtubules. This process requires energy fueled by ATP. The second function of microtubules is structural support. Don't the microtubules that are colored in green look as if they are helping the cell to maintain its shape? In cells, the minus end of microtubules are anchored in the centrosome, which is the microtubule organizing center. It is usually located adjacent to the nucleus and contains a pair of centrioles which are perpendicular to one another. In non-dividing cells, microtubule networks radiate out from the centrosome to provide the basic organization of the cytoplasm, including the positioning of organelles. The shape of many cells depends on the radial array of microtubules in the cytoplasm. The third function of microtubules is cell division. This is a picture of the cell when it is in metaphase of mitosis. When a cell is about to divide, the centrosomes will duplicate and migrate to opposite poles. The cluster of microtubules growing out of the centrosome is called spindle fibers, which help to align the chromosomes during metaphase and pull the sister chromatids apart during anaphase. Targeting and disrupting the microtubules would therefore inhibit cell division, which is the mechanism of action for many anti-cancer drugs. The fourth function of microtubules is cell movement. The beating of cilia and flagella help to propel cells forward. Cilia and flagella have nine pairs of outer doublet microtubules surrounding a central pair of singlet microtubules. Dynein arms of one microtubule grip the adjacent pair, pull, release, and bind again using ATP as energy source. Because they are anchored, they can't slide past each other and bend instead, thereby creating the wave-like movement of the flagella and cilia.